It's no secret that Arizona is facing its largest budget deficit in its 98 year history. But what you may not know is its effect on public education throughout the state. Many of the courses offered here at Corona are funded through the CTE program or Career and Technical Education. This includes automotive technologies, TV production, advanced child development, and more. So, how big is this problem? We find out. Currently, the state allocates $11 million to the Vocational Education Program. This proposal reduces state spending to $57,700. This results in a total loss of 99.9% .9 of funds. So, what do students and teachers think? I think it's a really bad idea. Uh, the CTE credits really fund a lot of great classes and it would just be really sad to see them go. Budget cuts hurt me in getting equipment, uh, replacement equipment, replacement parts, things like that. So um, yeah, it's going to be a definite uh, detrimental thing to the school and to, uh, to automotive. Saddens me because this is my fourth decade of teaching and I would like to see when I leave that we don't have this concern all the time, but it seems to be bigger and bigger. Next, we sat down with Nori Cannell, the director of CTE for the Tempe Union High School District. This is a terrible cut for Arizona. It's a terrible decision, and I'm confident that our industry partners, our educators, our parents, everyone is concerned about this cut of funding and that everyone is fighting for it right now. Mm -hmm. We, uh, as a school district, we've been very committed to career and technical education. It's always been the philosophy of our school district. Steve Adolph is a district superintendent and a longtime CTE advocate. We, we provide a comprehensive high school environment, and so it's really important to us that we prepare students for life after, after high school. That's our mission statement of our districts. Next, we met up with State Senate Education Chairman John Hoopenthal to hear his opinion on the issue. Yeah, it's very serious, mm -hmm. and it's something that we simply don't want to do, those mm -hmm. of us that care about education. Mm -hmm. it, these budget cuts are just simply horrendous. Are you aware of the current proposal to cut money away from the CTE and vocational education programs? I am, yes. <clears throat> How do you feel about that? Well, uh, these are critically important programs, and mm -hmm. so I think that the career and technical education administrators need to be defending these programs by making sure there's quality integrated into them. So, so these, you think that the, the CTE program, all these funded classes are very important, right? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. But in May of 2009, you voted yes on a bill that would cut $550 million from the Department of Education, and a lot of that was actually CTE, the money that would have been going to CTE. What factors led to this decision? Well, the Tell me a little bit more about that vote. What committee did it take place in? <clears throat> I actually have that right here. This was <clears throat> ah, right here. Right here. <laughs> <clears throat> well, it says right here that the, this bill actually passed. So, and then I, through further research, well, we actually saw that it did pass again in the House of Representatives, which ended up cutting $550 million. Well, <laughs> you know, I don't know the specific vote that you're talking about there, so. <clears throat> okay, well, let's move on then. <clears throat> Do you believe that the, the CTE program will survive off of the $57,000 that it is allocated? The, <clears throat> well, of course it will. I mean, mm -hmm. we're going to keep these programs alive. Mm -hmm. And because uh, right now there's $11 million that so goes statewide all throughout all the CTE programs. And even then, like a lot of, you're saying that a lot of, like a lot of classrooms aren't able to get those large format printers and things of that nature. Hold on for a second. I'll be okay. Back. Sure thing. We asked Nora Cannell the same question. We have over 100. I'm going to have to check that number just a minute. Okay, yes, that's uh, okay. Yes. We have over 104,000 students statewide who mm -hmm. participate in career and technical education programs. And so, no, that, that drop in the bucket will not continue to support these programs. Mm -hmm. So what is, who is actually trying to cut the CTE classes? Is it the governor or is it the state legislature? Or? Oh, well, it's part of the governor's budget proposal. They have mm -hmm. to go through. It's very difficult to make budget cuts because mm -hmm. everybody's always hurt in some way. 
and we know that in this difficult economic time we have to go ahead and, and do that and this was one of those that was offered up the 11 million dollars uh, for the maintenance of effort for the um, basic the federal mm -hmm. Perkins grant so um, we know that uh, that's just something that happens with budget proposals. We mm -hmm. are fighting to maintain that funding and I'm confident that our lobbyists and all of those advocates for career technical ed will uh, help us keep that funding. By cutting the CTE program, the state would be saving 11 million dollars, right? Wrong. The federal government matches every dollar the state spends two to one. So the original plan of saving $11 million actually turns into a $36 million loss. This happens because the state must pay back every dollar the federal government spent through a long and dreadful audit process. But there's something Corona students can do. On May 18th, students 18 years and older can vote on Proposition 100. This proposition will create a temporary tax increase of one cent. This proposition is estimated to raise $3 billion for education, which will prevent the state from cutting many important education programs. So remember, Corona, May 18th, vote yes on Proposition 100. I'm Keith Wagner, CDS-TV.